My name is Joanna Mescala and I am the curator for the House of Commons. So here we are at Centre Blanc of Parliament Hill. This building originally stood until 1916. There was a fire that destroyed the original building. If you can imagine, in 1916, of course, we were in the middle of the Great War. And so right from the beginning, John Pearson, the architect, wanted this building to be a real testament to those who had um, answered the call to service and who had, specifically those who had fallen in service to Canada. In front of Centre Block, greeting you as you come onto the lawn of Parliament Hill is the Peace Tower. And it houses the Memorial Chamber. In 1917, in the 50th anniversary of Confederation, this column was dedicated. Um, it was dedicated pr predominantly to the fallen of the Great War. And as you can see, when people come in and they read it, they tend to touch right here. So they touch the words, the Great War. And this is kind of worn away in a different way than the rest of the column. So we are coming into the memorial chamber. This is the space that's dedicated to the remembrance, first and foremost, of those who fell in the Great War, but it is also now um, dedicated to all those who've fallen in service to Canada. John Pearson, the architect, described it as a kind of sacred grove in the middle of a forest. This stone for the altar is Hopton wood. It comes from England, so it was a gift to the country. And it is the same stone that was used for the tombstones in all of the com Commonwealth graves. The new altars, which were put into the space um, last year, have a similar treatment in the fact that they also have Hopton wood. But um, our Dominion sculptor, Phil White, also incorporated the poppy motif into the design in the bronze. I wanted to introduce a new level of that grove in, in which the central altar is surrounded by poppies and the new altars are essentially in part made by poppies. The books are supported by poppies. Within the Book of Remembrance, everybody's name is given the same kind of tribute. There's no distinction made by, by rank or privilege. Every day at 11 o'clock uh, there is a page turning ceremony so that every single name will be on display at least once during the calendar year and all of the other books of remembrance are likewise, um, their pages are turned. The poem in Flanders Field which is also on the walls, it's become the sign and symbol of Remembrance Day. So although its roots are in the First World War, it really extends to all remembrance.